Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails, a Grand Arena story. I've got a special one for you guys today. This is the finals in week three. Uh, my opponent knew who I was. He placed a special defense that was meant only for me. He said that he was only doing it because of his scouting, uh, but he'd never really done anything like that before. Uh, he usually had a pretty boring defense, and this time you'll see his defenses are just really crazy. The The Galactic Legends he set are really great. Uh, they, they, they take a lot of characters from good teams, but they're tough to clear, and I had both of my Galactic Legends on defense as well, so uh, it, you guys can see my approach, at least, to how I went about trying to clear his squads. I won't give anything away now. You guys can watch it. Um, I probably will do a freeze frame or two uh, just to explain the teams a little bit. But otherwise, guys, I'm going to just basically do a quick hitters um, and let you guys see all the different teams that I took, what, what I did, and try to make this video actually um, a watchable length. The actual original live stream was like an hour and 45 minutes just for my main account. Count. So, uh, quite a bit of time, but I do think that it was pretty good. I'm going to eventually link the full live stream uh, in the video description. That won't be up quite uh, right away, not in the first day, but that will go up, and then you guys can check that out if you want. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go here, so please enjoy. Also, folks, a uh, huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Really, really appreciate all of the support, guys. Um, I've been able to do a lot of really cool stuff lately on this channel, and a lot of that has to do with you guys' support. So thank you so much once again. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, my opponent placed such a strong defense here. It was very clear from the very start that he had no intention of actually trying to clear my own bottom zone, which was a double galactic legend zone it itself, because he put all of his counters that he could possibly use on this zone in this squad and in the squad or in the zone above it, uh, which you guys will see eventually. Um, this video is actually going to be a little disjointed in that sense. So the the thing was, it, I knew that if I could clear this zone and then get a full clear later, which you'll see that I run into a, little, a few struggles at some point, if I can get a full clear though, then I'm probably going to win because I was confident my opponent would not be able to actually clear my bottom zone at all, which is Galactic Legends. I figured he would win the efficiency war if, he, if we both just killed four teams up top and the ships and uh, maybe kill a fifth one in the bottom. If, if that happened, he would win an efficiency war because he could just put nothing in his back zone if that happens, and he would just have more teams to go from, and he's a very efficient player. So uh, my goal here, I knew I had to clear this. It didn't really matter how efficient I was. I just needed to clear this bottom zone and find a way to clear the also really, really tough zone up top. So you guys can see how it goes. I'm not going to do any more freeze frames. This is it, so enjoy. The Darth Revan is super fast. 351. It's the third fastest in the game, apparently, tied for third. Um, okay, so let, let me explain exactly what... So the turn order, what, what's going to happen, in theory, is Kylo is going to go... Or, so Watt is going to go. I'm going to have Watt on the team. Watt is going to put the weapons tech onto Kylo... Or, uh, sorry, onto Vader. Kylo's going to go, and he'll hit my pre-taunt, uh, and that, that'll be sad, but it happens. Um, so he hits the pre-taunt... And then um, uh, Hux goes. He gains a turn. He gains 20% turn meter, which I believe is more than Darth Revan has, even with his like 381 speed or something. I think Hux at 300 speed gains enough turn meter to um, outpace Darth Revan. So Hux goes. He hands the turn back to Kylo, and then Kylo does his AOE. So what happens here is they take three turns in a row. That gives me 45% turn meter from on my uh, Darth or on my yeah, on my Darth Vader. Darth Vader then is uh, essentially like at 500 some speed. It's crazy, um, and should outpace Darth Revan as well. Yeah, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. We'll see how L3 does here. I I'm concerned I, she'll survive a lot longer than that. Uh -huh. Sith Empire, or that Shore Trooper did at gear 12, though. So, 
So much talking. I know. Guys, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm just nervous. Let's... Let's jump in. Let's see how it goes. So Kylo goes... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need weapons tech on Vader. Okay. Kylo goes, hits L3. Huck sends the turn. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. So we got Merciless Massacre. And now... Get this off. See if we can kill Revan. Got him. Whew. All right. All right. So, Meowbok is saying I should kill this zombie so I get an extra turn here. I think we're okay, though, is what I think. I think we're okay. I think I'm just going to do this to get more dots out there. We're going to put the taunting tech on... I guess we could put it on L3. L3 is still alive. Let's pass the turn to Treya. Treya is going to isolate. We're going to... Do that to Kylo. Let's see. Let's just throw our blade at Daka. See if we can take her out. We can't. Bummer. Um. Put this onto Thrawn. All right, just do this hit here. Oh man, I hope this. I hope my force crush doesn't kill zombie. That that would mess things up a little bit. Let's see. Oh, bummer. Okay. So now, why don't we just try a basic and try to kill Daka here? I think a basic will do it. Okay. So. Doc is gone. Now we can throw this. We probably won't kill him, but... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Goodbye. There we go. Not the prettiest of banners, but... 53, guys. Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it feels good. Screw you, Kylo Comp. Woo! So what's going to happen, I'm just... It, usually what people do for the normal strategy, if Rex didn't mess things up in the middle, I would have, I would have the direct focus on Rey first, and then I would have everyone attack fives after that, because he's going to taunt because I'm hitting her, and he'll gain all the turn meters, so he'll go next, he'll taunt, and then I could have everyone hitting fives instead. The problem being that uh, he's he's not uh, well uh, yeah so so he's not <clears throat> excuse me something in my throat <laughs> is that that's what she said <laughs> how's that for wholesome uh, derp <laughs> so what so um what what I need to do. Uh, so normally, and then you can use General Skywalker to just go and one-shot Ray. You can do that. I've done, done that a lot on my main. That doesn't work here. So I'm going to just have General Skywalker go and hit her as much as I can and hopefully trigger that damage immunity. Once that triggers, if that triggers before she hits her ultimate or before she uh, does her whirlwind on my General Skywalker, then I have a great shot to win. So, let's uh, let's jump into it, guys. So, let's jump in and just make the best of it, shall we? Okay, so she goes. Now Jedi Revan goes. Gonna mark Rey. Okay, now, normally, 
Oh, look at that. Fives hasn't gone yet. He must be slower than... See, this is this is a variable. Normally, Fives is gone by now. I'm fine with this, though, frankly. Um, so, we're just going to have everyone hitting her. And then, Rex is going to go next, unfortunately. Skywalker just doesn't have enough turn meter to go. Rex will go next. He'll dispel everyone, give everyone turn meter. They'll all take turns, and it'll be total crapshoot. Oh, and everyone hit fives. That's not great. Oh, and we didn't even get damage immunity. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we got damage immunity. And now we're actually reducing her max health. She uses the whirlwind on Skywalker. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Got her. Whew. There we go. That's it. Let's trigger damage immunity on fives. We can hit Skywalker here. Get foresight. And the, the funny thing is, this fight is one that I didn't really practice that much. I kept just restarting after I killed Ray, so I don't have much practice with this. Let's stun all the people besides Rex. Start working on Skywalker, though. Oh, nice! We didn't even have to damage immune him. Perfect. Um, we're going to give another turn and dispel. Okay, we're going to kill Chewie next if we can. Oh, nice. Okay, so Rex is going to try to execute someone soon. Um, but tell you what, let's let's do sneak over and just take out fives if we can. We can't that quite quick, unfortunately. We can now we can stun Rex though. Alright, here we go. And Rex is actually a pretty thick boy here. Oh whoops, we need to stop. <laughs> we need to give him some turn meter here, guys. Mio Baka, I'm not going to read it, but what you just said is really funny. <laughs> and there we go. 58, guys. 58. Mio Baka says, this is impressive and all, but could you even beat bus 74? <laughs> Woo, we got it, guys. Dang, that was awesome. Yeah, so Darth Revan will probably. I don't think. I don't think my Revan squad kills this uh, Grievous squad there very easy, because I I don't have Malak. If Malak was here, I'd say probably a good shot. But this this Newt team, which I I think what's gonna end up happening, I'll use my shock clones on Ray most likely. I'll you and then I'll just try to burn this uh, this Grievous squad down. Uh, through attrition is probably what I'm going to try. That's why no one will remember my name. True, true Ando. <laughs> Good Troy reference, brother. All right. Let's let's do Darth Revan, guys. Let's, let's get our Revan on. I think this beats that. I mean, maybe their Malak survives or something. I don't know. Seriously, it's a nuts. This defense is so crazy. It, wouldn't it have been sweet, though, if I could get one-shots on it? I would love that. Ando, take care, man. Tell your fam what's up. Tell them I said what's up. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Whew. Man, that zone. That, that zone. I'm still a little shaky. All right. Let's, let's start actually hitting some fights, though, shall we? Let's see if we can pull it off against this Newt squad. If I had Watt, I would say I would actually maybe use my Kylo Ren Unmasked squad with Watt. Um, but, alright, so we're not going to play around. We're going to fear everyone here. Um, we're going to fear their Bastila. Now, the thing is, I have Dark Battle Meditation on me, because their Bastila went. Um, but, because they don't have Darth Revan lead, it doesn't actually like do anything um, for them like it, it just means that let's see okay should I just try should I tempt fate I have Darth Revan lead so he can't stun me 
Um, let's just see if we can one-shot Dooku. There we go. That doesn't really help that much, frankly. Um, well, let's see. Because we want to get someone to 50% to kill Newt on in one shot. So let's throw let's throw the grenade. Um we can get this going. Alright, so now we'll hurt everyone with fear. We've got Deathmark going. We can AoE and kill Bastila. Oh, or not. Alright, so Malak is gonna keep force draining people. Let's kill Basti here. Jango's still just hanging out. Like, what's up, guys? Um, Malak. Okay, we have two hits on him. Let's just let's see if we can just take him out. There we go. Let's just put more debuffs on him out of spite, shall we? Even though they did, like, nothing to him because he died soon thereafter. Still pretty cool. All right, 58. Sweet. We need to see. I, I have no idea how this will go. They have really, they're, the Finn and Poe are pretty quick, too. Oh, but my Rex is quicker. Look at that. Okay, so let's shoot. We want to just kill Finn as quick as we can, I think. Uh, we don't want BB-8 to retribute us. Nice, got him. Okay, which one is the one where everyone hits, shoots? All, okay, so let's do this one, and hold on. You know, shame on me, I never think about which one I should put this on. Let's see. Um, okay, so we probably just want to put this on, um, on either Ark or... Hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, we probably want to just... Let's just put it on Echo. Let's just stop messing around. If we can kill Poe, then awesome. Okay. Get rid of those. Okay. Guys, I, I I hesitate to say things like we're good to go, but this is looking promising. Let's just say that. Um let's see, let's save this. No, let's do actually just we'll have Echo shoot with us, I guess. Probably should have used uh Arc actually. Arc hits harder for me, at least. I want to shoot BB-8 while he's not hitting us back. Sportsmanly like of me, correct? Got the assist. Nice. Alright, let's take out R2 now. Goodbye for 58. Sweet. Alright, that worked. Solo, don't say Rexalate, man. It's Rexacute. Let's try this. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can kill B1. If we can't, we can't. But, uh, like, I, I'm almost certain we're just gonna get just demolished here. But, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, Ninja, I know that if you forfeit, you lose the team. Whoa, jeez. Okay, it looks like... Who is this? Nebit's gone. Okay, so nine. That's not gonna be enough, is it, guys? That's not enough. Nine against B1. We'll see. Good. So what does this do? This is a taunt. Reduces cooldowns. What does this do? This is just a uh, call and assist. Okay, well, this doesn't do anything, but whatever. I was hoping he had an AoE. Okay, so we'll see if we can survive long enough that uh, B1 gets killed by Grievous. That's that's the hope here, guys. Negative. And we, we primed turn meter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bummer. Let's, let's give it a try. Dude, derp. The, the survivability difference between Bosk and any other bounty hunter is huge. And, yeah. Let's try. Let's try, let's try. 
I wish that those stacks on B2 stayed, or on B1 stayed down, but. But alas, because they won't. Oh, Boba's already gone. Dang. Loading that turn meter, guys. That was. <laughs> that was a mistake. I'll say that. Um. Let's do set them on fire here. Bosk needs a turn, though, guys. Come on, Bosk. Take a stinking turn. Ah, oh, come on. You killed Boba. Bosk, go. Ah, oh, this is turning into a fiasco. Wow, I did not think I was just going to get wrecked like that. I'll say that. Oh, yeah. Can we one-shot someone? Oh, we can't even. All right, maybe we'll get lucky here. Mm. All right. Well, that was too bad. That turn meter, guys, that loaded turn meter was tough. Need to make sure we clear this. So, despite uh, Paplu's really fast nature of over 300, my Stark is still faster. Um, let's see. Yeah, you walk Elder's easy to kill. Okay, so let's use Troopers here against... Well, let's look at Logre, actually, real quick. What's his potency? 105, yeah. So that would daze Nest. We don't want that. So let's use Troopers here. Taker boys, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Tell you what, I'm going to leave Piet, because I want to maybe use him on a Palpatine squad later. Piet is good here. These other guys are good here, too, though. We should be fine. I'm not going to try and undersize anything here. Alright, give turn meter here. we got to focus. Elder down, if we can. We should be able to. No revives. Alright. And now it's a route. Already. Excellent. Goodbye to you, Paplu. Oh, I don't I don't have L3 anymore, but that's that's probably fine. Um so we'll take L we'll take Kira and Nest. Because we can take the two vets and uh, you know what? Let's take Vander just just for fun. We can all we can have a revive party. How about that? See whose scoundrels are better. All right, so get that ability block on some people. Uh, we want to kill Vander Chewy first if we can. Can dispel Zalbar's nonsense. Um, I guess we can just do a big hit here. Oh, she was taunting. Whoops. I was looking at Zalbar waiting for that taunt, but. <laughs> There's so many taunts going on. It's rude. Everyone is so rude right now. Okay. Well, we killed. Killed that Chewy. Let's see. Alright, need to kill Vander. There we go. That L3 might end up being a huge problem, actually. We'll see. It's only gear 12, though, so that'll that'll help at least. want to kill L3 as soon as we can. So, hopefully this hopefully we can make that happen. There we go. Okay. Now we should be good. We should I don't know if we'll get full banners, but we we can make a show of it at least. Get that protection off of mission. Let's do another hit. Oh, I should have just dispel. Oh, that works. Just kill her. That's fine. Get the dispel here. Call nest to hit Zalbar can daze him, or we can try at least. Let's see here. 
So we just shoot a normal shot? I don't know. He has protection up. Kind of want him to take another turn so we can get that protection back. So we can get the full 60. But let's just kill him. There we go. T-Bone Kelly, what's up, man? 59 against this squad. Okay, so now we can just throw everything at that Grievous squad haplessly and not worry about the bottom zone here. Okay, so Fox is gone before we can move. That was cool. Get this done here. Give this, uh, let's see. So we want a taunt to get up. Um, gosh, I wish First Order Executioner wasn't dead. Really super sucks. Um, so we give a turn to Kylo here. Who can he stun? He can stun Grievous, I guess. And, yeah, we want him to be able to taunt as well. Oh, I already... I'm just dumb, guys. Don't mind me, dear lord. Um, okay, so... Let's just try a big hit on him. Perfect, okay. So now we'll call this guy as well. Get healing immunity, nice. We can kill B2 here, guys. If we could kill B2, that would be perfect. Looks like we're not maybe going to get a chance, but let's do give it a try, shall we? Come on. Survive Kylo. Yes. <laughs> oh, he healed him. Dang it. Okay, this should actually get his protection back up some, though. Let's stun Grievous here. Gosh, Grievous already took that many turns. This is crazy. We could kill B2, guys. Just want to kill B2. That's all I want. That's all I ever wanted. We can't kill B2, but it's all I want. Anyways. Well, we got more play that time, at least. Oh, I should have one-shot Droidica. Good call. Yeah, Baka. <laughs> well, so be it. I think we, not, we might not clear here, guys. Let's see what happens. So we got his AoE off. That's good. I mean, they'll still get a ton of turns. Oh man, we're close to killing Magna Guard here, though, actually. <laughs> well, goodbye goodbye to Sunfac. Um, now who do we kill? Just kill Battle Droid here? I think we do this until uh, Spy gets a big hit. And then, yeah, I think we heal here and then have Spy start hitting. I could kill B2. The thing is, B1 or B1, B2 is gonna just keep plugging away here. I think I'm gonna keep hitting. Ah, oh, Ross, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I really am. Let's do this. Let's take out B2 if we can. We're gonna gain some more. We're gonna get a lot of turns in a row here. We don't want to have him uh, gaining a bunch of turn meter. We're close, guys. We're actually very close. Um, we'll save that. We'll save that dispel. Oh, guys, okay. Okay, I think we can get a, a kill here. Yeah, that AoE was rough, but... Let's see. I'm not going to try Grievous. That's not going to work. But, I could one-shot Droidica. What I want to do, I think maybe I kill Magna Guard here, guys. I think we just try to kill Magna Guard, so we can't taunt, then I can use other teams to mop these two guys up, then Ewoks to finish Grievous. Because Magna Guard's the one that's holding us back right now. I think we just kill Magna. If we can. My, my spy is just not that good. We'll see, though. <laughs> that was... that was abysmal, Magna Guard. What? Her spy? What are you... You should be ashamed of yourself. Wow, that was bad. Wow, that was horrible. No crit. Yeah. Jeez, that was that was terrible, guys. Dang it. Oh, shoot. I should have had them hitting B1. Dang it. Cuz if we can kill B1 here, yeah, we can't. We're we're done. We're done. Dang it. Well, we killed B2 at least. We'll see what we can do about the rest. I still have a bad Jedi squad. Too much crit avoid from B1. Okay, okay, that's probably it. 
So, here's the thing, guys. Uh, B2 isn't there, so we don't have buff immunity. And I have uh, Yoda's lead Zeta, just randomly. And everyone gains tenacity up if they, um, if they gain debuffs. Like, the squad is actually pretty decent at surviving. Like, they, they won't survive for long, I, I admit. But, like, the, the tenacity up is still kind of nice. Yeah, cam won't last for one AoE even, so. Not gonna use five star gear eight cam, I'm sorry. Oh whoops. He was he was up for his revive and everything. Dang it. Tell you what, we're gonna start hitting let's start hitting that droidica. If we can kill droidica, then we're good. Okay, we don't want Magna Guard to taunt, so we're just going to spread foresight here. We're gonna do uh ability block. Good. Okay, let's see how much we can do on Droidica. Let's call Yoda here. Might just be able to make it work. Let's see. Sure, you can taunt. I don't I don't mind that. No, we missed! Oh, how did you how can you miss? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um You know what? I'm gonna wait until more Jedi die. So close to killing Droidica here. No, but how oh, Magna Guard has the taunt. Oh, come on. Come on, just let me kill Droidica. That's all I've ever wanted in this life. No, Kanan! Oh, dude, come on. You're killing me here. Ah, oh, come on. After all that, okay. Well, let's just focus down. Apparently we're doing okay here. Um, tell you what, let's, let's call... Now we'll call Grandmaster Yoda here, because he'll gain turn meter. That'll help. Okay. Um, we'll spread buffs. Hopefully Jolie gets another turn here soon and can revive all the people. Start doing AoEs. Maybe we can just focus that uh, B1 down a little. Ooh, Magna Guard's close as well. Okay, we'll revive. We'll get the taunt from Old Ben. Man, if we can just kill... If we can just kill one thing, guys. Man. We're getting close to that Magna Guard, though. Getting close. Come on. Just let me have... Okay. Just want to kill Magna Guard. That's all, all I've ever wanted in this life. Come on. Okay, I can do this. Let's spread the buffs. Oh, we, he died. Woo, we got we got Magna Guard. Yes, okay, okay. So now we'll call Yoda. To heal him a little bit. Just do a basic. If we can kill B1 here as well. Man, that'll be so sweet. Oh man, it's close, guys. We're close. Let's revive all the people. As if we could win with this comp, wouldn't that be sweet? <laughs> I say that and then die. <laughs> I could have gotten the defeat, but... Alright. Okay, that was good. That worked. Kind of. And du Dooku, let's not use him. He's, uh... He'll just die. He, he doesn't have any health. Let's save this dispel, actually. Here, I want Grievous to have this debuff, though. Oh, well, I wanted him to have it. No stuns available. Dang it. Okay, we can at least increase cooldown. Oh, we could have. Dang it. Man. Okay, Droidica is up and running. He's doing his thing. I guess let's get shock on Grievous. We can dispel Droidica's madness here now. We'll save that. Dispel again. We still can't hit Droidica. Wow, can't kill Droidica. What is going on, guys? I'm missing all of my attempts on Droidica. Oh, bummer. Bummer, okay. Now we've got our Dispel from Scion, though. Let's get this going. 
Droidica. Okay, I'm just gonna delete Droidica if I can. Okay, Droidica deleted. Now it's it's possible though, guys. It's possible that Nihilus gets annihilate off here, and we just like we we probably don't. He probably kills us before that, but let's uh, let's try. And, and honestly, we've we've got a shot. We've got a chance here. Oh, you should have hit Nihilus. You chose poorly. <laughs> got twenty banners. Woo! <laughs> got the twenty. All right. And he's got malevolence in the back, guys. Whew. All right. Who needed Ewoks? Guys, I'm a little bit sad I didn't get to finish him off with Ewoks. It's one of the joys in life. Oh, man. We were up past 80 a minute ago. We're down to 68, and people didn't get to see the triumph, guys. That, that was so cool. That was so awesome. Not like of me, just it was a cool moment, right? Like, I feel sad for the people who didn't get to experience that, who stuck around for the rest of it, but just didn't have the fortitude. All right, let's do an undersize here. We'll get one undersize at least. And let me make sure. I need to make sure this is actually the right comp that I'm thinking straightly. This so people have this thing, uh, like, so when you lose a fight, you get this thing called, you go, go through tilt, and most people know what tilt is, even if they don't know it by that name, and it's just where you lose and you start making decisions based on, like, a kind of losing mentality, and you start, like, you start doing stupid things, basically. Your brain isn't working the way you normally would want it to. And the, the thing is, you can also do that with, uh... You can also do that with wins, like when you're just like so excited that you're winning, like sometimes sometimes you can start make like out of overconfidence or something, you, you can start making these choices. So I need to just take a minute, evaluate, make sure I'm actually, because this fleet is really tough to clear if I don't have my, my negotiator if I mess this up. So I've got Plo, I've got Ahsoka, I've got my backup dispel guy, uh, just in case someone's being difficult. Yeah, this is the right team. Although you got your first Ewok kill against General Grievous tonight. Dude, yeah, that's cool. Uh, that's awesome, congrats, brother. Frodo, what you said is really funny. I can't comment on it, but it is funny. <laughs> it is funny. Alright, let's see if we can take down this Sunfac now. Sweet, and we got target lock on everyone, so we should get the two for here, as I like to say. Gosh, that transition always scares me. I'm like, did it freeze? Alright, just try to focus down this hyena, see what kind of things they have in reinforcements. Um, oh, we want Plo here, actually. Gosh, I almost took Ahsoka in. Um, we're gonna give turn meter to people. Get rid of that ability block on Houndstooth. Oh, okay, he's got the Sith bomber. That's that's actually mostly fine. I am dazed though. That's that's problematic. Um, let's put the taunt on Houndstooth though. Um, don't like being dazed, that's for sure. Actually, I should probably start using that bomber, actually. That, as a reinforcement, it seems seems like there could be worse things, because days on uh, days on my Jedi Knight Anakin is really frustrating to deal with. Alright, just gotta get that hyena gone. Get it gone, come on. Um... Okay, we'll just use the basic there. Cool. Now, this Marauder, we've got to take him out. Let's see. Alright. I'm just going to use this one, because then everyone gets the assist. We can use the, the ultimate later if necessary. Cool. Alright, 63. I will take it. 
And we got the clear, guys. We got the clear against that totally ridiculous defense. Now, it's not the greatest score, granted, but... I just don't, I don't even feel bad. Like, so let's say I let, let's say I somehow got 60 on that Grievous squad. Uh, like, that... That would I'd be in the 1920s. Like so, beyond that Gravis squad, that I, I was pretty efficient. So I'm sorry I can't show my back zones. Um, by now, I'm sure some of you can extrapolate, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let Toby some worry some about that himself. Um, and that was it, folks. Uh, my opponent did he very efficiently cleared my top zone. Uh, and my ships. He did manage to even kill my Ray squad with his Vader, uh, but he didn't even attempt my Supreme Leader Kylo. He didn't attempt my back zone, obviously. And that was it. I got the win. Um, so I won the week, too. That, that was pretty cool. Good feelings there. Um, <clears throat> this was definitely a very difficult match. My opponent had one of the fastest Darth Revens out there. He had a really, really high lifetime banner score. He'd faced me in the past and knew that I was a, a YouTuber, uh, etc. So, high quality win against a guy from a top guild as well, Team Instinct. And uh, now we're going to march into the next week at 8 and 1. Hopefully we can maintain the momentum. I actually just finished my attacks from uh, my first match, so hopefully you guys tune into that. It's a pretty good match. My opponent left a really interesting defense. He did his research. He also uh, knew who I was moving into this match, and uh, it, it's, it's going to be a good one. I don't even know what the results are going to be. So anyways, folks, I am going to let you go now. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.